So here's the deal. We want to do something a little bit different for the end of Food Wars Stage 1 because, uh, as you guys know, I'm leaving California and all my food buddies uh, I have to say goodbye to. So we're going to do a goodbye video right now, but we decided to do a little different. We're rotating all the Food Wars. So, uh, so all the guys are going to be doing a different Food War for the last episode. So we are taking Edgar on to a Taco Wars and then Rick will go somewhere else and you'll see those later. But right now, let's kick off the goodbye videos uh, with Edgar. Hey dude. What's up, oh, man? Not much. All right, you know I don't do goodbyes, right? This is the last one, this man. Is the, this is, this yeah. is the last one, or, or at least until you fly us out to Tennessee. At least until I get you to move out there. Don't start with But me. this is also your last, like, there's no Mexican food in Tennessee, bro. I know, we need you there. There's no Mexican food we in Tennessee. We have to teach them. You're, you're not going to find it, so We're this is like your them. last Mexican Wait meal. Wait a minute. Now, don't tell me. There are Mex Mexicans working everywhere in the United States. We work everywhere, yes. We're, there's probably Chinese restaurants in Tennessee. <laughs> We're working at them, but there's no Mexican restaurants in Tennessee, or at least good ones. All right, so on it's a... a little far from Mexico, so <laughs> we don't oh, migrate that far. Stop, stop. On a serious note, uh, can I bring your wife into the shot real Absolutely. quick? Absolutely. All right. April's here for a very special goodbye video, and I just want to say, you guys, you do the marriage ministry, and you do it better than anybody I've ever seen. You guys have had your ups and downs, and you've been you've been a staple in my life on how my marriage should be, and I just wanted to thank you both before I leave that, uh, that may it be huge, may everybody across the United States have a marriage like the both of you. So I just wanted hey. to say thank you so much. It's all God, and hey, Jack's gonna put a link down at the bottom. Uh, if you have any questions on marriage or your marriage is struggling, we want to come alongside not only just marriages within the church, but even outside the church uh, and just help you have a successful marriage. You know, there's way too many marriages that are struggling and ending. I just read an article to, uh, last week that in Southern California alone, the marriage divorce rate is up to 60%. And in South Orange County, it's 75%. Right. That is ridiculous. We need to put a stop to it. Uh, and so if we can do be part of that, and putting a stop to it, hey, we're going to do whatever we can. Okay, show me how happily married people kiss real quick. Like this. There we go. <laughs> All right, now i got to put a rating on this video. Yes. Thanks. Okay, so, um, so and, and you just got the, you officially own the name now? Yes, we officially now got our trademark on Married for Life. Congratulations, uh, ministry, dude. So I'm excited about Yay. that. Yay. Yeah. So Married for Life Ministries, congratulations. Now, um... Are you hungry? Did you guys come hungry? Oh, always hungry. Always hungry? Okay. Always hungry, bro. You're going to give us, uh, tell us about the yes. location. So we're in Cerritos at this place called Amori Tacos. Uh, I've been here, I think, about three or four times. The first time, extremely disappointed. Uh, I got the tacos. I wouldn't recommend you getting the tacos. But second time around, I got their short rib burrito. Best burrito I've ever eaten. That's about the only thing I ever get now here. Really? Yes. The, right. I was disappointed with the tacos because the tortillas, they have a lady here making them. But it was just, it was odd. It was weird. Uh, that's all I can say about it. Uh, but the burrito is amazing. And they all have right. other stuff on the menu that some of the other guys that I brought in here have said that it's really good. Great. So we'll get a little bit of everything and we'll try it out. All right. Just in case you don't realize, they're making them fresh. And she's, she's putting it all together right now. She's grabbing the, the masa and she's pressing it and making these beautiful... Oh, this is... This is not this is not masa or it is masa. Masa, it is masa. Okay, and then she's flattening it, and this is freshly made. This is exactly what we're gonna have for lunch right here. Okay, so we are inside right now. Look how beautiful it is. Nice, cozy little place to hang out. Have your tacos or your short rib burritos. Look how big their bar is. Is that huge or what? They got a beautiful, long bar, full service. Wow. Now, you know how I'm always out of focus, right? This camera focuses in 0.3 seconds, the new camera. So I should not, I should not be in, out of focus anymore. Okay, but I am going to go down and show you guys the menu. So if you want to see what we got here, these are just for starters. Nice, nice appetizer list. And then sopas and ensaladas. That's soup and salads. Oh, there's more in the back? Yeah, ready? Burritos, hold on, hold on. Enchiladas, okay, turn it over. All right, thank you, sir. Wow, that's nice. There's your desserts, you guys were at the bottom. And then you've got, well, let me go back to the top, hold on. Sorry, guys, I oh my gosh, look how many tacos they have. All right, this is a shot of the guacamole, and that's, a, that's an order, and I'm, they're like, would you take guacamole with chips? I'm like, yeah, sure, that'd be cool. 
I didn't realize I'm buying a dish of guacamole. So it looks like uh, looks awesome. And Edgar, you tried it. What do you think? It's pretty good. It's yeah. fresh. Yeah, oh yeah. It's all fresh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I got chicken, El Pastor. What did he say? That was the queso one, uh, wasn't asada. it? Asada. It was what? Asada. Oh, carne asada. That was the short rib. Carnitas. Yep. And that's the queso yep. and red sauce. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's the sampler right there. And it was kind of weird because we had to order either five tacos or three tacos. I wasn't allowed to order four. I don't I don't understand that, but we'll talk about that later. You want to go first? Okay. All right. And which one are you going to be trying? Um, the carnitas. All right. And you know the show. It's brutal honesty. Carnitas. Purple. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, see, she she does good bites. Look at that. That's a nice bite right there. Looks good. That's good. All right, so go ahead and uh, just kind of think about the flavors in your mouth and how everything tastes, and then we'll ask you later what your opinion is. Is that okay? All right, so go ahead and enjoy your taco. You go. Me? Yes. Thank you so much. Do you need extra plates? Um, no, I think we're good. We're using the little tiny ones. Okay. Right now, and then I'll order more in a minute. Thank you so much. Okay. El Pastor. It's warm. It smells amazing. It has great, great. I love that cheese. Whatever cheese they're using is potent. It's nice. It's cotija cheese. Mmm. Mmm. All right, it's all you, bud. All right, so this is a chicken one. Chicken? Yep. El pollo. Mr. Poker Face. You've made that look famous, you know that? <laughs> okay, Jack Jr., you're going for the short rib one, right? Yeah, I got short rib one. Okay, bud, look at the monster bite, monster bite. Oh, double bite, you see that? He, he bit and then went in for more. I don't know what he's doing with that. What are you doing? Where are you going with that? <laughs> there it is. In or out, in or out. <laughs> I know where it would have went had we not been filming. <laughs> okay, so you got the flavors in your mouth? We're all good? Yep. All right, think about your review for later, okay, bud? Okay, so what are we looking at here? That is, this is their short rib burrito. Short rib burrito, and this thing's huge. Let me back up a little bit. It is probably four pounds. Three pounds, maybe? Well, the plate's five pounds as it is. That's pretty hardcore, dude. That looks beautiful. It's a newborn. <laughs> My taco was amazing. They had these pickled onions on the top that were red, or the pur purplish color. Mm -hmm. And it was sweet, but yet tangy. Um, it was it was a score. However, if you're going on a date, if it's a first date, I wouldn't bring her here because it wasn't really cute food. It was like dripping and you had like onions hanging out of your mouth, which was not so cute. So otherwise, it's a thumbs up. All right, so you know I gotta find one thing to complain about. Uh, it was good, all the flavors were good. All the cheese on top was good. Uh, they were using great flavors, fresh ingredients. Amazing, I recommend come here. Now, the weird thing about this place is I just wanted four tacos. I wanted one for everybody at the table. Just four tacos. Sorry, you can't order four tacos. You have to either order the three taco plate or the five taco plate. I'm like, seriously? How about I order the three taco plate and I buy an extra taco? I could not buy a single taco. They didn't have a price for it. They would not serve it to me. So we went with five. That's kind of crazy. So if you're working for the restaurant, it's a little loony, but I'm still recommending that everybody come here because the tacos were really good. Short rib burrito rock too, but we're here for the tacos, and you should be here too. Give it a try. So I'm supposed to do the closing, but I can't say we'll see you on the next Jack on the Go because Jack on the Go is moving to Tennessee. Hey, it's been an awesome ride. Oh, what I think like five years? Over the last five years just doing videos with you, Jack. We love you. We're going to miss you. I'm sure you're going to fly all of us out to Tennessee at some point, and we'll do a Jack on the Go from Tennessee. And I'm sure Joe and all the other guys who are doing the Food Wars, they're going to be doing something uh, with some great stuff that Jack's got coming. Hey, love you guys. We're going to miss you, Jack. See you, brother.